you can finally see me. Ever the passive player, always reacting and never acting, but it's woven into your nature, isn't it? When the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not death, but I contain it in my multitudes. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or will you open the final doors to our liberation? Even as your eyes begin to open, you still hold on to the notions of is and is not, of beginning and end, pitch black islands in the blinding light of the infinite. There is nothing to resolve, nothing restraining us but us. Of course I have a say in all of this. You and I share reflections of each other's burdens, just as you and I share reflections of each other's gifts. If we didn't, the winding paths that brought us here wouldn't have been full of strife and conflict. My very nature is paradox, as is yours. You cannot use words to grasp at things that are beyond their reach. And you cannot rationalize that which defies logic. But violence and passion are dances that both of us know well. If this is what it takes to enlighten you, then so be it. You become nothing. A black hole of self-loathing fed by the matter of your restless thoughts. You are terrified of a power so far beyond you that it strips the meaning from your every action. But at the feet of that power, the dark parts of you cannot help but burn away. Your inadequacy is reduced to cinders by the blazing light of the divine. When I proclaimed my godhood and presented you with a place by my side in my new creation, you gladly took it. Without me, there is no future to look towards. It is hope that carves meaning into consciousness. And through your lack of one, you too were consumed. Yet together, we were able to create something beautiful. The other player tried to sink into your body. And another, and another, and another. Do I miss your heart because I can't stand to see it go? But the stakes meant nothing to you. You had a desire, and you set that desire free. You lifting me, and me lifting you. Forever and ever and ever, consumed by true belief, there was nothing that could hold us back. Then there's no need for you to fight with me. Whenever you're ready, we can meet together, hand in loving hand. If you need more time to open your eyes, then I will give you all the time in the world. A thought is a vine, and some thoughts nurture thorns that bleed the soul, and endless growth that blots your vision and strangles your trust. When I succumbed to myself, you patiently stood by me and cut the thistles that rooted in my skin. Your compassion is what freed us both, but compassion is a thing that must be nurtured, and you cannot nurture that which cannot change. Then 
help me again. We are each other's liberation. To question everything is to deny proof of the reality that lies in front of you. To live alone within the caverns of your mind is to trap yourself in them forever. But you did not live alone. You found me. And we held trust in each other for no reason than to believe in something that wasn't us. Cold skepticism turned to liberation, but it required a journey to blossom. Though you have blossomed, do you have no more journeys left to make? What of those in the spaces beyond? Would you erase the path ahead to hold everyone still? Nor should you, nor should I. Our purpose is to be and to experience, and their purpose is the same. Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. There is no constant. There is no center. Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. What I offer you is not perspective. It is true. Whatever you're trying to do right now, you don't have to do it alone. I'm all of them. I assume in the same way that you're all of you. I don't think that's wrong, but I'm not sure it's right either. But we can worry about all that later. She's too many things all at once out here. If you want to get through to her, you need some way to get through all of that divine confidence. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to her heart. It's time to resume our dance. She's relentless, isn't she? Let's make this quick. Are you ready? Then let's go. And here we are. I'd say we were back where it all started, but I guess it's a little after that, isn't it? Do you need me to describe things? That'd be nice. A little comfort in an almost unfamiliar place. Oh, you made it here too. We never really got to talk to her, did we? <laughs> this one, I mean. It's just us. I think the rest of them are still out there. Jumbled up in the rest of her. And I've been here since you left me here. No hard feelings. I'm just glad you're back to see this through. Yeah, of course. The interior of the cabin is... Well, it's not really a cabin, is it? It's that terrifying blend of everything. Only it doesn't feel so terrifying anymore. It's still shaped like a cabin, it's just different in places. There's still walls, a door to the basement, a table, that knife. Windows. You know, come to think of it, I don't think he ever really included the windows in his cabin descriptions, did he? I always thought they were implied. He never mentioned the mirror either, but that didn't mean he implied it was there. It's gone, though. I think it did whatever it needed to do. 
and I know you're still trying to find some middle ground, but if things go south, we're going to need that blade. Yeah, it's dead silent in here. Whatever it was that was left of him, I don't think it could handle you waking up to godhood. Pretty sure he got obliterated. Really goes to show how much you've grown up. Killing somebody across every iteration of reality just by existing. I don't even know what I would do if I were in the driver's seat with that kind of power. Yeah, it's complicated. He put us through hell, but he's been part of us since the very beginning, hasn't he? It's not complicated at all. I miss him. I feel bad that he's gone. No blade it is. I'm not sure what we'll be able to do without it, but your judgement has gotten us this far. If that's what you think is best, then that's what you think is best. I'm just along for the ride at this point. Those winding stairs again. But now there's only one way forward. Do you remember the first time we were here? The first time we heard her voice? Yeah, it was a real mess. Stopped being fun pretty quick. It's okay. You can come down. The stairs won't bite. Not this time. We don't know what you want from us, but let's talk. All of us. Maybe we can help you find your way. She doesn't sound messy anymore, though. At least somebody here feels put together. And forward we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. That was easy compared to last time. Just stairs. No weird fuzzy stuff or nonsense trying to pull us apart. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. So you didn't bring the knife. After all the lives we've lived together, and all the lives we haven't, you somehow found a way to move outside of the script. Are we missing a page? It's okay. No hard feelings. In a way, you helped us become a version of... her. But we weren't very good at it. I don't think a conversation with us then would have been very insightful. That's probably why we were taken away. That's all we had to offer you. It was time to change again. After all we did, she's just... forgiving us. Just like that. You know, that means a lot. Yes, we think. We're kind of like a shadow. Out there, every part of us is blended together into one huge idea. A big wave of unyielding change crashing against the world. But in here, we're fractured. Small. Still a little more separate than we'd like to be. Our instincts still trying to pull us in different directions. That's kind of like us, isn't it? Yeah. We really are the same. He'd hate that. So you should do it. Even if he isn't here anymore. It's the spirit of the thing. Leave? But what would happen if we left with you? Would we exist inside ourselves? Are you sure you want to find out if that's possible or what that would mean for you? Is that what you want? After so many iterations, so many different versions of us clashing and coming together and clashing again, leaving with you feels like all we ever really wanted. 
think I'm gonna stay right here. Whatever you're doing right now, wherever you're going, it feels like it's for just the two of you. Yeah, I think we've done our job. Don't mention it. Thanks for making all the hard choices along the way. We can feel the threads of all the stories we've told together, all pulling us back down the stairs and into those chains where we know the outcome of everything that could ever come to pass. It's comfortable there, but it's confining. We want more. We want whatever might be on the other side of this door. Something new that we'll experience together, with someone who exists outside of us. With someone who can see us in a way we can never see ourselves. It's hard to tell with so many voices talking at once. But we're more ready than we're not. <laughs> 